Welcome to the Content Amplification Podcast, where you will gain insight into real-life tactical and strategic elements to help you scale and grow your business. Now, let's get started with today's episode. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Content Amplification Podcast. Now, this one's a little bit different as I'm currently in my truck and I'm driving to an early morning appointment. And uh, if you're from Canada, you understand the importance of undercoating a vehicle. We have a lot of salt on our roads, and that salt is very corrosive when coming in contact with metal. So we, we spray a protective barrier on our vehicles called undercoating. So every year, to keep my warranty, I have to go down and get this thing inspected. So it's, it's early morning. I'm on the highway using my hands free to record this episode. So welcome. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here we are in the, the first week of January 2020. How exciting is that? And I'm, I'm sure by now you've gotten back to work. You've gotten things situated. You've caught up to anything that has been um, kind of pending since the holidays for you and your business and your clients. And now your, your mind is changing to what does 2020 look like? I mean, you, you've done some pre-planning or you should have done some pre-planning up until this point leading into this year, but now it's the rubber meeting the road. And that's where we're going to be looking at your mindset. And, you know, I use that word mindset in several different episodes of this podcast, but I want to focus on the way that you think about the need for your clients. By that I mean not what they need as in products or services or help, but a lot of times if you're looking to make financial goals, targets, um, you know, income, things of that nature, and you know, you're a little behind. You know, it happens to all of us. I, I've experienced this from, you know, quite frequently, you got your ebbs and your flows. And um, when you go into a, a meeting or a call with a potential client, we call them a prospect. If that's what you're focusing on, then subliminally, everything that you're doing is actually coming across as needy, meaning that you need them. You can't blow it. What happens if they don't decide to do business with you? Right? So a lot of times when we go into those type of meetings or, or, or presentations, whatever it looks like for your business, and you're really fearful that if you don't close that sale or get that client or obtain that project, that things are going to be bad for you. So you've got this fear in you when you go into it. And everything that you say, everything that you do, your mannerisms, the, the questions that you ask, all have a small bit of that fear being projected with them. And the horrible thing is that your prospect can pick up on that and they can feel your neediness, right? They can feel your fear. You can feel your dependence on them saying yes, which in most cases will turn them off. So this has been the biggest shift I've had to do in the last six months myself personally in my business. Now I've done things to generate more leads, book more calls, get more strategy sessions and going into them, I go into them saying, I don't need this client. This client needs me, right? Have that self-confidence, not arrogance, self-confidence. There's a big difference between self-confidence and arrogance. So if you're self-confident that you can provide value, you can actually help that person and that you are okay if they don't do business with you, but you know that at the end of that call, you've done as much as you possibly could to help them, then most likely they will want to do business with you. Because we can't rely on selling to our clients. The public is so oversold. 
your demographic is so oversold, right? There's so many guards and barriers that they put up to protect them from being sold to. They want to buy, right? As human beings, we love to buy. That dopamine hit that we get when we buy something that we think is going to help them, help us, help us improve our lives, give us something that we don't have. When we buy, we are in control. When we're sold to, we are not in control. We are being persuaded to make a decision that we felt we didn't have control over. So when you're looking at who do you want to buy from, you're going to want to buy from the person who genuinely has portrayed an interest in you has shown you that they're willing to help you because they actually have helped you and have then put the decision in your hands. So when you do that, you're going to close more sales. I guarantee you will close more sales. You just got to remove that fear from your mind, that neediness that you need that sale. Give that a try Look at how you go into your meetings, your calls. I mean, if, if you do calls, record them. If you do meetings and you're not recording them, you know, maybe you can ask that you, you can just put a recorder on your phone just because you want to um, self-educate and self-audit yourself for, for how you're giving service to clients, right? A lot of clients would be cool like that. They'll let you record that kind of stuff. But you want to have a way for you to be able to look at what you're doing and pinpoint those moments of weakness so that you can learn from the actions that you've currently taken. So just to review, what I talked about here in this episode is your mindset of neediness towards your personal and professional clients. Don't go into meetings with that mindset that you need to close that sale, that you need that client to be able to survive. Whether you do or you don't, you need to be able to put on that game mind, right? Just like professional athletes put on that mindset when they go to play a game, even if they're the underdogs, right? And the stats are against them that they could win. They're going out with the mindset that they are going to win. You need to do the same thing. You need to change your mindset that is different from the reality to be that you don't need them, but they need you because you're awesome and you can really help them. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to the Content Amplification Podcast. If you have questions about how you can amplify your content strategy, go to amplifymycontent.com.